And so with that said, I would now like to welcome our next senator coming from the great city of Warwick, Mr. Harrison Tuttle, who has been a leader in the fight for racial and social economic justice. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I just want to say it is an honor to stand with so many great candidates here, elected and also running for office. Um, too many people that have grown up just like me, um, raised by a single mother on a fixed income, understand what it's like to not know how they're going to be able to afford their next bill, how they're going to be able to afford tuition to send their kids to a high quality education. Uh, that is my story. And so many other people uh, all across the state from Providence to Warwick to Cranston are having the similar question right now and for 10 years and before that, how they're going to be able to afford their basic necessities. So many times this discussion is about whether or not someone's qualified to make more money where they work. But the conversation is never had of how we make sure that every single person in the state of Rhode Island can have access to housing, healthcare, sending their kids to a high quality education. And for the reality, for the many, they can't. They don't know how they're going to be able to afford their own basic necessities in order to survive, never mind start a family. And so coming from Warwick, coming from Cranston, and I can tell you from my own personal experience, making above minimum wage, I still do not know if I'm going to be able to afford a place to live by myself uh, that's affordable. And so I can't imagine how many people are also having that question. How many college graduates are coming out of college and not knowing how they're gonna be able to afford their basic necessities? And how many folks on fixed income? And how many folks that are working? This is a moral issue. This is an issue of making sure that when the elected officials come to your door, that we're not talking about the same issues over and over and over again. It's about the elected officials elected and candidates who are running, who are coming to your door and saying, finally, we have an opportunity to pass a wage, a bill that makes sure that you can have your basic necessities met. Thank you. Thank you.